Now, there's a cord attached to the end of that pipe that hits, goes back to the wall from this point, we'll call that point A. There's now a cord that hits the wall uh, two meters below the x-axis. And it's going to be four meters out, so yeah, about there. So two meters down. Two meters down. So that'll be three meters. This is an additional one meter. And this is down two meters. That locates our other point. That's point C. What happened to point B? Oh, point B somewhere else. We'll get to that in a second. If I can use it. So there's a, a cord attached there. that runs back to the wall. So it's down a little bit from the plane of the pipe and out a little bit farther than the end of the pipe. Because the end of the pipe, that's a, a quarter turn, the end of the pipe is only out of three meters, another meter, then we drop down to the point C. So that's a quarter turn circular arc pipe. Okay? Happy enough with your drawing? Maybe your lines aren't dark enough. It just confuses me. Does it? Alright. Tension in that line is 80 newtons. And we need to find the, uh, the moment about uh, the turnbuckle back there at the origin. We need to make sure that flange bolted to the wall is able to withstand the moment because that force is trying to wrench that whole thing out of the wall somehow. So we want to find the moment. How do we do that? Let's, let's set up the generic first. Um, decide what we want to do. There's, there's more than one way to do this, but there might be an easier way to do it. And we're kind of we're kind of jonesing for that way. So no point B. No point B. Oh yeah, there is. Halfway. For whatever reason. But that was that also would kept Alan awake at night. I knew there was a point B. There's had to be. So how do we find the cross? Uh, how do we find the moment? In general. No. Nope. In very general. That's physics one general. This is statics general. Which means I want to be able to do it in 3D space and, and what? R cross product F. R cross F. Alright, let's just write that down first. R what? What does R locate? R is a position vector. The position of what? The, the line of action. The line of action of the force relative to relative to where we're taking the moment. So we need some R that locates the force. Well, here's the force here, and we know that ropes can only pull, and they can only pull in their own direction, so that's got to be F. What's R? Base. Lo huh? Base of the pipe. R goes from the 
point of interest, which happens to be the origin, anywhere to anywhere on the line of action of that force. As long as we know it, we can use it. So anywhere along the line of action of that force, well, point A is there, so is point C. So which one do we use? Huh? The easier of the two. It doesn't matter. Use the easier of the two. If there is one. Uh, A is pretty easy. We know it's going to be 3 in the Y, 3 in the Z. Uh, sorry, 3 in the X, none in the Z, because remember it lies in that plane. Uh, C isn't very hard either. It'll work. We can use any one of the ones we want. So, your vote. Okay. Or, could we use B? Because it's right on the pipe. We don't know where it is. It's not a lot of action. Try not to. We cannot use B. Why not? Not a lot of action. It's, not, it's on the pipe. It's not on the line of action of the force. We could use any point along the line. Uh, we could send, but those two are already, we know the geometry of those two. It couldn't be a whole lot easier. So, we can use A. Take 10 minutes after we've done this and do C as well and show how they come out to be the same thing. And then F is this force. Okay, so that's the end there. We'll, uh, we'll resume. Come back on Wednesday with those two vectors if you can.